My name is Miracle and I'm from Nigeria. Um, so I'm here today to share a story, uh, a personal experience that I had. What I'm about to share with you today is not something that I wish for any child anywhere in the world to experience, but I experienced it. It was in the year 2000 and I was 12 years old uh, in a city called Abba in the southeastern part of Nigeria. And it was a warm afternoon. I had just finished from school and I was walking back home. On my way back home, the streets were usually characterized by hardworking people putting smiles on their faces, even through difficult times. But this very day, it was deserted. There weren't people in the streets anymore. And then I began to wonder what could the problem be? What was going on? After a five minutes work, I still couldn't see much people on the street. And I got to my favorite sport, and um, this was a place where a malam, that's the name we call some of the Hausa tribe, um, people from the Hausa tribe in Nigeria. And he used to sell these uh, candies and chocolates. And then I looked, and his shop was already knocked down. And then I saw the military trucks on the road, and then it just dawned on me that it could be the religious war again. I don't know if I should call it a religious war or if I should call it an ethnic war. It could just be characterized as anyone. So then I decided to maintain um, working on the streets, on the major streets, because I, I was already imagining what horrific sights I was going to be seeing when I walked back home. And I wasn't wrong, unfortunately. I saw dead bodies lying around on the streets. and. Um, I saw parts of uh, human beings on the streets. And then right there, I began to wonder. I had so many questions to ask my mom when I got home. And then I was asking her, what could be the problem? Why is there so much hatred in our country? And then she didn't have that much answer for me. All she could say is, only God knows. These questions continued to haunt me as I grew up. And um, eight years later, I moved abroad to study. When I got to Cyprus, uh, there were lots of African students from all over the um, parts of Africa. And then I'm Nigerian, and then I get to meet some other Nigerians there. And I was excited. And so I'm like, maybe I can have a family away from home. But even though they wanted to be friends, there were still prejudices lying in their hearts. We all had a stereotyped form of thinking about each other, and yet we're supposed to be from one country. And although I made some great friends in Cyprus, and some of them who I still value, and I see them as my family members today, but it could have been more, I was thinking we were the younger generation, and probably we could think differently. But unfortunately, I realized at that moment that part of the problem has been from the foundation. So our parents continue to pass on to us different hateful thoughts about another tribe. In my country, we have over 300 languages, and our official language is English. So somehow, we could all still communicate with each other. But then there was still this great divide, and that is all because of cultural and religious differences that we have. I traveled to the Netherlands this year. But I was going to tell you a story of meeting a beautiful family here. And they're supposed to be from the far um, northern part of Nigeria. But I'm not going to tell you that story today. Why? Because something awesome happened yesterday. Was it yesterday? Two days ago, during the conference. So I just walked in, and I, I went straight to the registration desk. And then this um, person, who I was thinking, she definitely cannot be from Nigeria. And then she's like, hi, are you a miracle? And then I'm like, yes, a miracle. And I was thinking maybe it's, it's all about my name, because people get surprised whenever they hear I'm answering miracle. So, <laughs> <laughs> And then she's like, you're my sister. I'm like, what? And she's like, I'm from Nigeria. Demi, can you please come? Can I just like, take a little bit? <laughs> this is Demi.
I didn't plan to do this today, but when I saw her walking again, it just reminded me of the experience. Demi's mom is Dutch, right? Yes. And then her dad is Nigerian. But her dad is not from the same tribe with me. But the moment she saw me, she just connected. And then when she said that to me, I'm like, okay, I think I'm in the right place. I'm in the right conference. I'm in the right place. Because <laughs> this is something I have been looking for. And she said, I want to travel to Nigeria sometime. I want to get to know more about my people. And what touches me most is that she said, you're my sister, and we don't speak the same dialect. So what am I trying to say today is that despite all our cultural differences, we can find a way to connect to each other. And I know that you all are here today, and we're the younger generation. And I thank God, and I also thank the Hague Hawk School for giving us an opportunity to express our thoughts. And so what I'm, I'm saying is that I want to know more about your culture. I want you to give me a chance to know more about you. And I want you to give me a chance to know. I want you to, sorry, I want you to give me a chance to tell you more about me. I don't want you to just have this notion about me before you even get to know me. This was what she did for me. She didn't care what tribe I came from. She just said, you're my sister. And so this is something that we can take along. This is something that we can do in our world today. And then in this way, we can try to diminish all the divide. And then when I love someone, I'm not going to wage a war against them. When I care about someone and I want to know them, I would try to understand the reason why their cultures are different. And in that way, all this diversity is supposed to bring about a uniqueness, a unity. And so today, all I'm saying is give me your right hand. And let me give you mine. Let's all together help someone. We are still here today. And we are part of the world that we want to see people not hurt. We don't want to see someone losing their loved ones. I don't want to see a child dying because of something he can't even understand. Let's all work together. And I know that we can do this. We can have a world of peace. We can start from one family at a time. And then we can move to one community at a time. Then maybe we get to one nation at a time. Probably one day we can live in a world of peace. And this is why I'm here today. Thank you.